so today we're going to talk about frogs and we're going to work in our All About Frogs book. One of the first things we want to know about frogs is what do they look like? And the scientific term for that is their appearance. Now, when we were making this booklet, I am very sorry, but page two is missing. And page two was supposed to say appearance. So there will be a page on your last page that is blank. I've drawn my little frog there. We want to talk about the appearance of frogs. So here's how you write it if you've got your book. A, P, P, E, A, R, A, N, C, E. I'll say it again. A, P, P, E, A, R, A, N, C, E. So the appearance of frogs. So you may do what I did with my phone. I took my phone and I looked up a picture of a wood frog. These are very common where I live. Maybe that's a bit too close for the camera. There we are. I have seen quite a few of these little guys. They are camouflaged with brown leaves because they generally live in the leaves. They are damp, but they often don't live around ponds. They live in forests where there's just little puddles and places to keep them wet. But you might also have seen one of these guys in Manitoba. This is called a leopard frog. They are much more green and they're spotted like a leopard. They still have brown on them. Do you see this line of brown? So what I would like you to do is stop, pause right here, or pause on the earlier place where I had the wood frog. And what I would like you to do is to write down things about, well, to draw the frog and to write down things about his appearance. So I'm gonna brainstorm with you here and I'm just gonna write words. You may write them into sentences in your book. So I'm going to put spots because some frogs have spots. I'm going to write, hmm, smooth skin because frogs in Manitoba do have smooth skin. Even though it has the colors on it, it's quite smooth. There's another one in the water. They also have brown. The colors, I would say, are brown, green, black. One of the characteristics of all frogs is that they have big eyes. This frog even appears to have a little bit of kind of gold around its eye, doesn't it? And they also have another feature that is big. I'll have to erase this and do it later. They have big, you know what I'm gonna write? Big mouths. Their mouths are almost the same size as their body. That's big. So there are some characteristics that you could write about. Not all frogs, but some spot frogs have spots. They have smooth skin. They are brown or green or black or some of each. All frogs have big eyes and frogs have big mouths. So what I'd like you to do is take your last page. So I took this picture of a frog and while I looked at it, I tried to draw my frog. My frog is camouflaged on the leaf. Can you see that? So I noticed that it had a darker brown under its eye, like a little patch of dark brown. But I also noticed that in pictures I was looking at online of wood frogs, they were often on yellow or brown leaves and they were so camouflaged. So on purpose, I did not outline my frog except in pencil. I didn't do it in black or in brown because I'm trying to camouflage him. I colored my frog and both leaves in with the same brown 
even though one of them I outlined in yellow and one of them I outlined in dark brown because that is the way that they camouflage. There's a little bit of the same color, but a lot, a lot of the same color as the frog and a little bit of other color on the leaves. And a wood frog mostly lives in the forest. So leaves and wet leaves and little puddles on leaves are where it gets the water from. So there's the appearance. And now I have to write about my wood frog. And so I need to write a sentence about it. And for that, I need a pencil which I don't have. I'm just going to get it. And here we go. So now when I'm writing about appearance, I'll bring it to the camera in a minute. I'm just writing about what it looks like. Nothing else. I'm not writing that it jumps. I'm not writing that it lays eggs or doesn't lay eggs. I'm just writing about what it looks like. So what you've drawn is what it looks like. A wood frog is small and brown. It has, and this is good if you draw your picture first, because then you can tell uh, what it has, and it has a dark brown patch under its eye. So when I drew that, I noticed it. Now I can write that down. It has long legs. So these legs are bent. If they were straight, imagine how long they would be. So I have written here, a wood frog is small and brown. It has a dark brown patch under its eye. It has long legs. So that's the appearance of a wood frog that I've written about. I'd like you to choose a kind of frog. I think a Manitoban frog would be good. A wood frog or a leopard frog. Draw it first is my advice because as you draw it, you think of characteristics, you think of the dots, and you think about the eyes, and you think about the big mouth, and that will remind you of things to write about. Even you could write about the toes. Look at the toes on this one. And it appears to have how many on the front? Just three. So look at a picture or stop the frame so that you can look and think about how to draw it. Please write the word appearance on your last page. Draw and write and take a photo of it for me to attach to this lesson.